Hello. Welcome to my shop, my stash. Welcome back. Welcome to my tray of the week, my box, whatever you may call it. Um, I have to confess something. So usually in these videos, I put up a GIF and I say, you know, this is how many times I used this product. And I think I did a great job or a bad job, depending on what the GIF is uh, denotating, I guess. Um, and uh, this week, it's all going to be pure, not pure. It's going to be half estimation because I've been on annual leave from work. So I've been on holiday from work for two weeks and I chose the best two weeks of so far in the year because the sun absolutely came out just for me of course and so um i was out i was with my family i was with some friends you know just enjoying the sunshine and catching a sweet tan and um yeah my tray my tray little list that i usually not note down how many times i use products it never really got updated and i have no regrets so that's where i'm at so it's all going to be a bit of an estimate, but a part estimate, part actual truth, because I did well for the first, like, yeah, there's coffee stain on my, on my little sheet because I'm a human being and I like to drink coffee at work. So, you know, <laughs> um, but I, I did, I did monitor for the first week and then the sun got even hotter and then I was like, completely forgot about it. Anyway, this is my tray I've been using for the last two and a half weeks. Uh, this video is a little late. Usually I like to do every two weeks, but, um. I've been actually very busy at work since I went back. This week's been, it's been shit. Not gonna lie, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's begin with some foundation products. Okay, I've just adjusted my lighting. I hope that's better. Anyway, these are my base products that I used. Um, two of them, which are these two, are now too light to wear. This Zoeva one is always too light to wear, but usually I just mix it in with my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturiser, which at the start of my tray was a good match for me. And now that I've got to two and a half weeks later and we've had beaming sun for the last two weeks, it's slightly too <laughs> light for me. So I'm starting to look a little ashy wearing this, but I did wear this all of the days that I wore makeup, even the days that I didn't ca keep count because I love my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturiser. It's one of, I think it's one of the best tinted moisturisers I've ever, ever come across. So it's no surprise. The Zoveva one I did mix into the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturiser and I ended up using this five times until I kind of gave up and I was like, this is just too light and it's making the too light ColourPop one even lighter now that I have more of a tan going on, so. but. As you can see, it's the wrong shade for me, but because I love this formula so much, I do use it and I do mix it in. And at some point, I am going to go and get a different shade that actually matches me. But I just think, you know, I can make it work. So what's the point in spending another 20 odd quid on foundation again? But this foundation is always on sale on Beauty Bay. So if you like a medium dewy finish, definitely recommend this foundation. It's fantastic. And then the deepest one for me, which I ended up mixing with my Colourpop Pretty Fresh, mostly towards the end of my two and a half week period, was my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. And I ended up using this seven times. This is much more of a creamier, creamier thicker formula, and um, it does a wonderful job. It's a really nice foundation. It's quite an old foundation, and as you can see, I'm almost at the end of it. The other thing I had in as a kind of base product is Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. This is like a five pound fixing make mist um, and it keeps your makeup on all day and it is totally worth the price. If you are like me and you melt in your own skin in any weather that's like hotter than 15 degrees because you're quite warm blooded like I am and you want something cheap, this is the way to go. It's a extremely good setting spray and it does work wonders. It's not very refreshing. It just does the job of setting, but that's all I want in the summer really. So it's been brilliant. And I ended up using this seven times as well. On to some cheeky products. This is Zoeva's Visionary Light. This is in the shade Supreme. It's a lovely metallic berry. I ended up using it twice, which is the most I've used it, I think, in any shop my stash I've put this product in. And I actually really enjoyed it. I just think because of its berryish tone, um, I would have used it more in the winter. But I'm glad I did actually end up using it. The times when I used this, well, the two times when I used this, 
I didn't wear any highlighter. I just did this as a blush hybrid, a blush highlighter hybrid, and it looked really pretty on the skin actually. It's not too sparkly or shiny, so I just used a light amount and it blended it out and it worked really well. So I'm kind of happy that I used it twice and I know that in the winter, uh, the autumn really, the autumn and the winter, I can kind of pull this out and make it work a bit more. Then I have my Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. Just look at this magnificent packaging. I love Charlotte Tilbury's packaging. I think she does amazing things with her packaging. Bar of Gold, three highlighters, all have a beautiful glowy finish. No shimmer whatsoever. And I used all of the shades because I ended up getting deeper throughout the two weeks. In the end, I just like ran my brush across all of the three shades and they mixed in so beautifully and created this beautiful warm glow to my skin. And I ended up using this five times, probably more to be honest, in the last two weeks. I love this highlighter so much and before I used to restrict myself and also my sister who absolutely, lo she probably loved this highlighter more than I did and I used to hide it from her but now because it's like almost two years old again since I first purchased it I was like okay now is the time to use it. <laughs> so I am using and getting more use out of this and I love it every time I do. Another highlighter that I absolutely love that has again that kind of glowy finish as opposed to a sparkly more out there finish um, in terms of like shimmer and glitter is Nabla's Skin Glazing in a Privilege. This has a kind of apricot warm golden finish to it. It's amazing. You definitely can build this up into something stronger and with a tan on medium skin. Oh, it looks so good. This is such a fantastic highlighter formula and you know nabla did such a fantastic job with their highlighters and i i think they have some bronzers in this kind of gelée formula i can only imagine how beautiful they look this i ended up using six times again probably more throughout the last two and a half weeks love it love it so so much and i've used it quite a bit and the name has come off now so and that is a sign of a well-loved highlighter. And then I have a Colourpop's drop of a hat. This is a stunning um, peach golden super shock blush. It's actually in my project pan and I've been waiting to pull it out for the summer. It says here that I used it three times. I used it a lot more than three times. Believe me, I love this shade and I think I've expanded the pan actually a little bit since I first put this into my tray. Stunning, stunning colour. Always recommend it, especially if you have medium skin tone. If you have a light skin tone and you buy this, just wear it really, really carefully because it is pigmented and strong. It is a very strong blush, but it's it's absolutely stunning nonetheless. And then lastly, I had in my Lottie London. This is a powder blush. This is their ombre blush in the shade Haze. And this is a really nice kind of peachy, pinky blush. I did end up wearing this uh, four, five times in the last two weeks. I think I did quite a few bright pinky type looks and this went really well with them. So I enjoyed this very much. Even though I enjoy cream blushes more than I do powder, the powder blushes I have in my collection, I do really enjoy. So it was nice. It was a nice little twist on lots of cream. I was going to say that's the last product for cheeks, but it... That's a big fat lie because apparently I've become obsessed with cheek products and I'm not surprised either. So this is Milk Makeup's Cream Blush in the shade what 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 It's a beautiful pinky brown nude, suitable for every day, absolutely stunning colour. Fantastic formula as well. And I ended up using this three times. I think I'm I must have oops. I think I must have worn this um, every single day I went to work in the office one of the weeks and probably a couple more times as well. Um, I did do a com I need to push this down now because the little swivel doesn't work on it anymore. I did compare this to one of Lisa Aldridge's newest blushes which will be joining my tray this week. Um, if you haven't seen that video I will link it down below because why would you want to miss out on all that fun of cream blush comparisons. And then lastly the holy grail of bronzer standards in many people including my book is milk baked bronzer this is stunning and god how many times did i say i use this i'm just gonna go ahead and say i use this every single day yeah i'm right i did actually document i use this 10 times 
like I said, I will make up more than 10 times in the last two and a half weeks. And um, this was there every single time. I just love it so much. So much. Let's move on to the new palettes that I added into my tray. Um, I hate this kind of packaging because it makes it look like I don't take care of my makeup. But I promise you I do. It's just fingerprinty packaging. Anyway, Rowan. 11 11 i keep calling i keep wanting to call it the 111 palette because that's just how my brain works it's actually 11 11 it's this gorgeous all cream eyeshadow quad and it's stunning i did do a video on this so you can check out that video that is one of the looks that i did i ended up using this it says um it says i used this six times seven times sorry i did use it more and the the way that I ended up using this palette, the only time I used it by itself was when I went to work. I literally just took a finger into one of the colours and put it over some primer potion and I was done for my look and I blended it out and it looked amazing. And I think this palette is really suited through those one and done type eyeshadow looks. Really quick but super pretty because the glitters in here are absolutely stunning. Um, and then for the rest of the days where I was doing very bright makeup to match my mood because the sun was out, I just took a shade and mostly, I gotta say, I was using this flaky glittery one up here and I was putting it in the inner corner. For the rest of the shades, I kind of took them and put them on the inner half of the lid and it kind of amped up some of the pinkier looks that I was doing and I just adored this palette. It is a little bit of a learning curve with the formula, I won't lie. Um, if you use too much or you don't have a well uh, a good primer down or you over blend with this it's, it can get a little bit patchy but the payoff of this once you get past that learning curve is stunning the glitters in here with that base especially of the rosy tones in here amazing completely worth it I absolutely love this palette it's got those very large particles that come out from the base once you start blending a bit and it looks phenomenal so i have no regrets in purchasing this and i had so so much fun using it but i didn't have as much fun as i had using my new vizier koi palette and oh my god this palette is amazing it's not perfect i will say that it's not perfect but it is a fucking stunning palette and every day i pick this up I was excited to use it. I don't think I even used... The only shimmers I actually used from my palettes was a day where I just used the Summer Vibes palette from Give Me Glow by itself. And even then, I took a shade from this palette. The shimmers in here are absolutely stunning. Like, forget about it. If you're a shimmer person, this palette is just phenomenal. If you can't get your hands on, like, Divina or Cleona and you're, you know, in the UK or EU or something and you don't want to pay those hefty prices i'm not going to say these are comparisons to those shades but for duo chromes they are quite similar they're more of metallic finishes than they are very shimmery glittery finishes but the fucking way they look on the eyes is just so beautiful it makes me want to cry <laughs> so i ended up using this uh, it says what does it say here it says nine times i'm gonna go ahead and say much more than that i used every single shade as you'd expect me to, being a shimmer girl. I did some beautiful looks. Oh my god, these greens in here are just amazing. I was supposed to film with this palette, and I will. I will film with this palette soon. I'll do a get ready with me and use this on camera. But oh my god, the greens in here are stunning. The pinks in here, I mean the purples in here are absolutely beautiful. You have these like lilac-y colours. This gold is even stunning. I used it in a look where it was on the inner half of the lid. You've got these duochrome colours. This beautiful like gold colour. And it's got like a bit of an olive finish to it. Absolutely stunning. This pink is one of those colours that looks amazing on people of my skin tone with brown eyes. It really stands out and I did a look using that. The only issue I have with this palette is you definitely need to use a glitter glue to get it to reach its fullest potential. And the other thing is these two shades are a little bit lacklustre. This little pink down here 
is supposed to be like a dual chrome. It's just a little bit too sheer for my liking in terms of a shimmer. And then this kind of orangey peach up here. Again, a little bit lackluster, but you can definitely build it up. And if you put something like a glitter on top or something, it still looks really fantastic. This palette is a little bit more expensive than Viseart normal palette. But oh my god, I have to say it's worth it. It's a stunning palette and even better is it's magnetic. So you can take this out. I don't want to dig my finger in. You can take these shades out really easily. You can rearrange it. You can put it into a single palette, which I am going to plan to do today and make my own palette. And I just think it, it's, it's a fantastic palette. If you love shimmers and you love these intense kind of light shades for spring and summer and this is your jam, this is your jam. <laughs> so i'm holding this upside down look this is the summer vibes palette from give me glow it's a huge panned palette it's what it looks like as the name it suggests it's all about being summery and having fun with the colors and i loved it i absolutely loved using these colors i used it says i used this palette six times i think i used it more um, I used it more of an accent palette, which I did for most of the palettes because I was trialing out the Rhone one and the Viseart one. I did do a look where I did a very bright kind of pink crease. I did this on the lid. I did this a couple of times into the crease as well. The shimmers in this palette are absolutely stunning and I had to do a look just using them because I know the metallics in here are super gorgeous. They're super pigmented as well. They just scream summertime to me and I absolutely love them. This palette is amazing. It's shiny. It's high shine metallic and it's beautiful. And the mattes in here, I've said many times how I feel about the Give Me Glow mattes. They are amazing. So I had a lot of fun using this. And this is not the end of this palette that you will see this summertime. I will definitely pull it out more during this. Well, it's not even spring, is it anymore? It's just full on summer now. Um, so it will be coming. I have a right mind to keep it in and keep playing with it, but I'm gonna give it a break for now. But I had the, I had a lot, a lot of fun. And then the other palette again used much more of an accent palette. It says I used it only three times, but I know I used it far more than that. It's my Lilac You a Lot palette from ColourPop. Yeah, I used this far more than just three times. I did quite a few pinky, purpley kind of looks, and this came into play. I have to say, this is the one palette where I prefer the mattes over the shimmers. I, I'll probably say the same for the Summer Vibes, just because their matte formula is so good. But this palette in particular, the, the shimmers are a lot more lacklustre. And I think because I've had this for quite a while, the shimmers have kind of tamed down just with time, as they do as products get a little older but the mattes in here still work phenomenally and it it does it does me a really easy job of panning this palette as you can see one of the <laughs> one of the shades already has a really big pan in and yeah it was a joy to use and i did lots of kind of purpley pink looks and i really enjoyed it and then lastly the other palette that i had was the man child palette and this is from Colourpop also. It says I used this about three times. I would say maybe a couple more times. Um, but around that, I never used it too much. I did do, I believe, a greeny look. And I really enjoyed that. I didn't really dabble too much into the shimmers in this one either. And I did use this mostly for the neutral shades actually. And the mattes in here again. Great quality palette. Cutest little packaging in the whole wide world. I really had fun with lots of the palettes and it was nice to have them as more of accent palettes to the shimmer palettes that I shown you from Rowan and Viseart and I had lots of fun with my eye looks for the last two and a half weeks. It was a lot of fun. I did have some pigments. So this is my Illa Masca pigment. My nails all broke, so I'm having a hard time like opening things now. <laughs> this is my Illa Masca pigment, and this is in the shade Feverunt. And this is not really a summer shade, I would say. It's more of that kind of deeper color, but it's still got a really beautiful light flip on it, so you can make it work. This I only used once, typical of me. It's in my project pan, and um, it's taken a long time to pan. 
for very obvious reasons. The next pigment I had in was Lost in the Autumn Forest and again I only used this once. I used it on the lower lash line of a look I did using the Manchar palette. I absolutely love this pigment. Again it's more of that um, win wintry, autumny type colour. It's beautiful. It looks exactly like one of the shades in the Manchar palette but just a bit more amped up and it also looks kind of similar to one of the shades in the Viseart palette. It's a stunning pigment. I mean, I expect nothing more from Tammy Tanuka. Their quality of pigments, phenomenal. And then I had one last pigment from them. And this is Opal Star. This is like a bright orange with multi flecks of glitter in there. Again, I only use this once. I can't even remember the look that I used it with, but I'm sure I'll pop it up on the screen. The multi flecks in here are stunning. It's just a, such a pretty, like look at that. Such a pretty, a pigment but I just didn't end up using my pigments too much to be honest. First up is Lisa Aldridge's Gloss in Beauty. This is a beautiful fresh cool tone pink. I ended up using it twice because the sun was out there was a little bit of wind and the glosses weren't just jamming with me because I had my hair down a bit so I didn't really end up using it this that much but I still love this colour. Um, I also had a Makeup Revolution Gloss and this is in the shade Daydream. This is a beautiful pink and it's got lots of different shimmer particles in as well. And I ended up using this twice as well. Um, I had two Lisa Aldridge lipsticks. Which were both very bright. Oh my god, the lids are magnetic and they're sticking together. Fuck. So these were the two Lisa Aldridge lipsticks that I had in. I had one in... Rainbow Spill and the other in Skyscraper Rose, both very bright pink colours, one with a bit more of an orangey neon flip in. It says I only used these once but I think I ended up using them more and I actually ended up mixing them to tame them down with my Be Perfect gloss which I will show you now. Sorry, that's my metal straw being very loud. This is my Be Perfect gloss in the shade Starkers. It's like a foundation-y colour for my lips, but I ended up mixing it loads of times with the brighter lipsticks that I had to kind of tame them down into more of like a muted pinky lip to match a lot of the bright looks that I was doing. And it gave this lovely glossy finish with it. I really like this colour. I find it quite um, versatile in my collection. I end up mixing it a lot. And it says I used this four times. Which is, I probably ended up using more to be honest. Oh, and then the other one is in my work bag. I need to go and get that. Uno momento. I must go. And last but not least, this was the other lipstick that I ended up using the most. Um, it's lovely and n it's a lovely nude shade and it just went with a lot of the looks. It's the bottom swatch um, and this is Tom Ford's 06 Revolve Around Me. I wore it a lot to work. I wore it a lot out. It says I wore it four times here. Definitely wore it more than four times. Absolutely love. This is such a moisturising lipstick. Really, really nice and it was so much fun to use. And I think that is it. My tray for the last two and a half weeks is now empty. I've shown you all my products that I have to show you. So let's go delving into my collection to get some more products for the next two weeks. So before we start delving, there are a couple of new products, of course. This is Lisa Aldridge's Elevated Glow in Solar Light. My video on her products has gone up, so if you missed that and you want to see these products and how they look on my skin colouring, please go check that video out. I will link it up above. This is a gorgeous warm apricot liquid highlighter with skincare properties in, with lifting properties in, and I have been wearing it for the last couple of days and I'm in love. I'm not going to lie to you, this is one of the best liquid highlighters I have ever tried and it makes me want to wear it every single day. And so that's what I'm going to do. It's going to go straight into my tray. I then have two cream blushes, which I also picked up from her. If you'd like to see in-depth stuff on how these look on my skin, again, go and check that video out. The first is called Dante's Dream which is more of a pinky nude. Well, much more of a brown nude, I would say. It's a lot more brown than it is for work. 
And then the second is such an exciting color to me. I actually don't have a cream blush in such a bright coral orange. It's absolutely phenomenal. This is the shade Island Glow, which is that bottom shade. And these three are some of the best cream and highlighter products I've played with in quite a while. So I had a lot of fun in that video and I've been using these for the last few days before I jumped into filming my shop my stash and I, I just I can't they're gorgeous I'm so excited for them <laughs> and then I have a new concealer and it comes in this very annoying tin <laughs> with a mirror which I don't know what I'm gonna do I'll probably end up just recycling it because I don't I don't want to keep my makeup there I already have lots of things to store around here Anyway, this is Nude Sticks Concealer and I got mine in the shade number 5 Nude. It is too dark for me and um, it's too golden for me if I wasn't tanned at the moment. So this is going to be my summer concealer. I have a lot of heavy concealers in my collection and because I wear such a light base, I just thought, you know, I'm going to go for a bit more of a lighter to medium coverage concealer and it's just uh, that one other it's really nice actually i've been using it again for the last couple of days looks beautiful under my eyes doesn't emphasize creases doesn't look dry or patchy throughout the day takes a while to powder really really nice concealer so that is also going into my box so i also brought one more thing and this is a little empty magnetic palette i bought this because i wanted to build my own palettes for my shop my stash because i have many 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 indie brand shimmers even some mattes but mostly shimmers that i wanted to compile into my own build your own palette for my shop my stashes which i thought would be a lot of fun because you guys always ask me do more looks with cleona do more looks with davina we want to see multi-chromes <laughs> so that is what i'm going to do and this week what i am going to build my own palette on is going to be based off of the new sydney grace and temptalia collection and collaboration that they did and she released some gorgeous looking jewel tone palettes i really have mixed feelings on it i loved the packaging and when she was sneak peeking it i was like oh my god these are going to be amazing and then when they were shown and um i started seeing videos come out about them they're very deep and jewel toned and i know i know the theme is space and stuff but i don't know maybe it's the time of year that they're released with that kind of deep jewel tone and you guys know i've done many many jewel tone looks here on my channel i love sparkly purples and blues mixed together with greens and gold but i just wasn't feeling it too much and maybe it was the mixture of mattes as well in there but anyway enough blubbering i'm gonna set my camera up into a way that you can see me making my own kind of quintessence temptalia sydney grace palette it's gonna be all of the shimmers those are shimmer heavy palettes anyway but i just want to make my own and kind of like have a little bit of a dibble dabble so i'm gonna pop up on the screen what the quintessence palette looks like i have my empty palette here and all of my gorgeous shades from my indie brand over here the first shade that I'm looking at is actually a deep black, so I don't care about that. Then I'm looking at a bit more of a deep fuchsia pink. So I have a couple here, which I'm going to swatch out. That's a bit more of a vibrant kind of lilac-y. That's Bon Bon from Cleona, and that's from their non-stained glass collection. This is a turbo fuchsia from uh clam shop <laughs> which is that one down there and then i have oh this is one of my favorite pinks i think it's a little too light for what sydney grace has going on but the, oh i've got a bit of bum -bum mixed onto mixed onto my finger but that's terra moon's terra sphere down there that's stunning stunning and i have a couple of more lighter pinks i don't think i have a deep pink actually wow i don't have a deep pink in my cleona collection <gasps> I must go shopping for more. <laughs> what am I think? Um, out of all of these shades, to be honest, that is quite a deep metallic pink. I'm going to actually go with my Terrasphere because I think that looks gorgeous on my skin. It might not be exact, but 
I'm not looking to exactly dupe out this palette. Next, we have a lovely purpley, like a blurple actually. It's like a purple base blue, and I have many, many, many purples. Can you tell? It's one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna go for my Cleona shades down here. I'm not gonna go for this deep one because I know that's too deep. We actually have royalty here, which I think is gonna be too much of a golden base. So these are Cleonas. Don't think any of them actually match up exactly to oh actually maybe royalty. Royalty's a bit more bright purple though, whereas the one that I'm looking at, Swatch on Deep Skin from Quintessence, is much more deep purple. Not a terrible match. Ooh, I also have this one. This is Divi no not Divina, this is Terra Moon's Moon Tide. I think this actually might be quite close to what is going on? What am I feeling? I think I'm feeling royalty actually. I, I'm feeling like royalty, so one second. Let me get into my shades. With the way I've set out this palette, the only thing is getting into my shades is difficult. When I want to pull out one individual one. Yeah, so it's not perfect. I think Moontide would have been a better match, but I like lighter shades anyway, um, especially in summertime, so that will have to do. So this is what I'm looking at at the moment. The next shade is a very light bright green. Um, it's like a very jewel tone green. Again, I have this one here from Terra Moons. This is Radiation, which is actually kind of a dead on dupe actually for that shade, in my opinion. I have a multi-chrome here. This is from Sheen Cosmetics, I believe. And it's called Fantasy. I do not recommend their multi-chromes. The rest of them have actually gone really bad on me. So the Sheen one is at the bottom. But it is a multi-chrome. And it looks stunning. Um, I also have this shade here from Cleona. Which is lovely. It's a bit more brighter than Radiation and a deep foresty colour, I think. So, I think radiation actually matches well. So, I'm going to take this shade out and plop it into my little palette. Then, next, we have much more of a tealy blue green. I. Mm, I don't know if I have that kind of a colour. Do we have any blues in this? I'm going to put a blue in there, I think. I feel like putting a blue in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to completely break away from... It's only supposed to be an inspiration anyway. I'm going to break away. This is a beautiful light, bright blue with some gold reflex in. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to add this in too. Next up, we have a matte shade and then we have a very deep, purple as well and for that I think I'm gonna go actually that's a really deep purple I almost match that no that's too much of a deep deep purple that's my uh, true multi-chrome from Cleona there I think I might just go with the blue that I want to go with instead of a very deep jewel tony purple this is Dawalika from Glam Shop and this is a very 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 sparkly blue see that one lots of sparkles in I'm gonna add that in because I can and then we have a pink to gold shift and there's a pink to gold shift in my Viseart palette there's a pink to gold shift this is I don't remember the name. Prophecy from Cleona. This is more of a metallic finish. Prophecy is. But it has got that lovely gold shift in. The other one that comes to mind is Pixie Sticks from Davina. Which is gorgeous. Which I think I might add in. That's Pixie Sticks. Just there. It's much more gold than pink. Which kind of looks like what's going on in that picture. I mean, I can only go off a picture, so. 
The other thing I have is this shade. This is a shade called Sunbeam. Oh my god. From Cleona. And it's a really strong pink to gold. But I think I'm going to go with Davina's Pixie Sticks because I love that shade. Next up, we have some kind of light whitey color that I am like, no bueno, I do not like that kind of shade, especially on my skin coloring. I never wear colors like that. The closest I get to like light colors like that is like silvery colors. That's Moontide from Davina. Those are the kind of shades that I will go for. So I'm going to substitute something else out. I've actually got this color here. There's also this gold here, which is super beautiful. Ooh, look at those shades, oh, oh. mouth-wateringly gorgeous. So the lighter is called uh, Celesta, and then the deeper bronze is called Centraurus. Stunning shades. I'm kind of feeling the Divina shade. So I know this palette, the one from Sydney Grace, doesn't have a golden but I don't wear those very lighty white kind of shades that she put in to hers. And then lastly, she has a beautiful, like, I think I have a shade actually. It's going to be a toss up between this shade here, which is called Medieval. Let me just scooch it along and the shade below it called Grisale. So, this is Grisale and this is Medieval. Both are really pretty. I actually think combined, <laughs> combined they look like that shade in her palette. So, I'm going to take them both. So, that is how we are looking for my kind of inspiration off of Temptalia and Sydney Grace collab. It's not perfect and I didn't want it to be exact. I just wanted to take some inspiration from the beautiful jewel tones. I'm really happy with that actually. That's an exciting combination of colours to put together and use for the next couple of weeks. Hmm, I wonder what kind of looks I can get out of there. Oh, pretty beautiful. So, into the tray it goes. So, moving on to blushes and bronzers and primers and things like that. I am going to have a shuffle through. I was thinking of getting my Milk Bake bronzer back out. And maybe I will. Yeah, that's a good idea. I've just been so into it, so... I definitely know I want to keep on adding it in because I just love it. Oops, I love it so, so much. So I'm going to add that in. And I think I want to get out my much more orangey bronzer. It's a little too dark for me usually, but because I am really tan at the moment from like only two weeks of sunshine, but the sun has been absolutely glorious. This is a lovely orangey bl bronzer. A lovely orangey blonzer that will match my tan really well so I think the depth of this is going to be good and then I think I'm going to pull in just one more highlighter because I know I'm going to play with the Lisa Aldridge highlighter a lot but this is Colourpop Super Shock highlighter in Wisp and Wisp is beautiful I was going to bring out a blush quad but I think actually I'm going to skip over it and I'm just going to keep to this um, blush and this is from Lancome this is um, Rose Passion in the Le Monochromatique and this is that beautiful blue based pink blush because the other blushes I have is neutral and an orange I think it'd be nice to have a bit of a a pinkier tone as well because I do tend to do quite pinky looks and there's quite a lot of um, like pinks and purples and cool tones in the shimmers that I've made in that individual palette so I haven't pulled out quite a lot from this area here as I usually do but I've already got lots in so I think this is enough from this area here so here I have my palette drawer because of that beautiful shimmer eyeshadow palette that we built together I am going to go for something a little bit more matte heavy probably but also with some beautiful shimmers in because I just love beautiful shimmers in palettes so why not and actually I used this this morning I used this and I haven't touched this in a long time and this is ABH's Prism palette it's a lot more warm tone than what I've been using recently 
but it is really pretty and this isn't what I would say is pretty shimmer wise this is really pretty um, matte wise I really like these kind of more neutral tones but then you've also got these warmer tones as well over here and I just think these matte colors are super beautiful but yeah I haven't pulled out ABH prism in a very long time so I'm gonna add this in So this is a palette I haven't played with in quite a while. This is the Tammy Tanuka Lively Chinchilla palette. It's a very cool tone palette and it's got these lovely purple vibes in here and these kind of duochrome shimmers in here as well. I don't really play with this silver and I don't actually know how it's chipped off a bit but the silver isn't really my favourite in here. I don't tend to wear like greys and stuff very often. They're not very flattering on my skin coloring but what is flattering of course as you guys know is purples and i don't mind cool tone purples so i'm gonna add in some cool tone purples because there is uh one two three four there's four um purpley type colors in that palette with the with some pinky stuff going on so i think this will go well lastly i'm gonna pull in my mothership six i believe this is from pat mcgrath this has mainly warm tones in, really pretty. I'm not the biggest fan of Pat McGrath's matte formula, but I can work with it. I really love this selection of shimmers over here. They're all really stunning. Let me give them a little swatch for you guys so you can see. And I guess aside from that purple, they all bring something kind of that isn't in that um, pre, like, palette that I built as well so I think that's nice um adding to that as well these two shimmers are glorious as well as is this one so the shimmers in here are really really pretty it's not the most summery kind of palette but it doesn't need to be um because I've got so many light shimmers in that little build your own palette thing but I think the Pat McGrath the lively chinchilla and the ABH prism is going to be a good mix now, do I want to take one more? I don't know. I mean, the other one that I haven't taken that I was thinking about taking is the Tokyo Harajuku palette. And this is from Nomad Cosmetics. And this is really pretty as well. Look at how cute this palette is. It's a pastel palette. It has these beautiful dual chromes at the bottom. This row is stunning. And then it has a satin row of mattes. And then it has a just full-on matte row at the top as well you know what this is a very fun palette i'm gonna pull this in as well then moving into pigments i am gonna oh i haven't used this in oh that's a stunning pigment <laughs> i've been really liking my pink eyeshadows again which is why i put terra moon's terra sphere in that build your own palette but this is pastel roses uk's pigment in the shade mars and this is what that looks like it's a flaky part but it's like a pinky gold flaky part. It's beautiful. Let's see if I can get a bit of a swatch for you. Obviously, it looks very different with them um, without glitter glue. But there it is. It's got lots of different colours in there. It's even got like a grey blue type of thing, gold, pink, lots of different colours in there. Yes, good spot right off the bat. I'm going to put Mars into my box. I'm only going to take one more pigment from my collection and this is The Artist by Tammy Tanuka. This is stunning. It's like a lavender, purpley, silver, sil silver pink. It's really pretty. There it is. Absolutely stunning. The Artist is gorgeous. And I just think that on top of any shade that's light, purple, pink is beautiful. Or even on the inner corner, I tend to wear this a lot. So those are the two pigments that are going to be joining. Lots of the eyeshadows that I've pulled out already. On to base products. Um, so in the two weeks that just went past, I used my Insta Fix and Glow from Rimmel. I think what I want to do is bring in my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is a Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. It's very refreshing. So because it's been so humid and hot, I think I want something a little more refreshing than it is setting. But this kind of does a mix of both. So definitely going to add this in. Now, because I've gone so much deeper than I was a couple of weeks ago, I am going to pull in a couple of my deep foundations. So 
So the ones that I've picked out are going to be mixing in with my Fenty. This is my Ease Drop blur, Blurring Skin Tint. This is a little too light for me, but these foundations are... One is a perfect match, which is the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation. Stunning foundation. My favourite foundation in my collection by a long shot. This is the kind of foundation that if Lisa Aldridge did foundations, I would imagine her foundation would end up being like because it's so supermodel skin like it's unbelievable but the other foundation is going to be my nyx born to glow foundation this is a little too deep for me but it probably matched me actually perfectly now and so i'm going to use that to mix in with my fenty ease drop foundation so from this section lipstick wise i'm going to go with a deeper tom ford lipstick this time around this is number 64 auto reek and swatched out it's just like this deeper tan color it's really really lovely again very moisturizing on the skin and then i'm also going to put in my nyx blush butter gloss in apple strudel but i'm going to move over to where my lisa aldridge products are because i want to pull out lots of her lipsticks and glosses this time around So these are the lip products that I picked out from my Lisa Aldridge stash. I have Velvet Beauty, Velvet Affair and also Velvet Dragon. Let me show you some swatches that I did. So this is Velvet Dragon. It's this beautiful orange warm lipstick. And then Velvet Affair is this caramel brown just down here. And Velvet Beauty is that very cool tone pink just there it's less bright than that which is velvet carnival just wanted something a little more muted and then i've also got the gloss from lisa aldridge and this is in blush and this is kind of like a muted well blush shade <laughs> so these are the four lip products from lisa aldridge that i am going to be putting in to my stash so there we have it that is my finished tray box whatever i am super excited to get my claws especially into this little um quad that we built together as well not even a quad it's just a little mini palette that we built together but all of the makeup in here i'm super excited to be using lots of fun products and i can't wait thank you so so much for joining me for another shop by stash stay safe everybody and i shall catch you in the next one